To install Reactor Plugin DaVinci Resolve, you need to go to the link in the description in this video. That's the page. Scroll down and click in the zero here to download the file. The file will be downloaded here if you are using Chrome and now let me open my DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to open a random project here and we can go to the Fusion tab already. Now you need to open the file location that you have the file. In my case, it's in the download location right here. Click and drag the file into the Fusion interface as I'm doing right now. This window will pop up and you can select the file location for the installation of the software or just click install and launch. I'm going to click and install here and in some moments the installation will end. When it ends, this window with a huge list will appear containing all the plugins available for Fusion tab. I'm going to select those two first on the list here. Advanced Grid and Advanced Dispel. Some installations have this Patreon link, of which you can donate if you want to support the person that did this plugin for free. I'm not going to donate right now, and I'll click here in Update. The selected plugins are already installed into the Fusion tab of DaVinci Resolve. This warning will appear telling you it's best for you to restart DaVinci. Do not forget to save your project before doing that. Now I added a random video here. And if I press spacebar plus shift at the same time, you can see that already the plugins that I installed are available for use in the Fusion tab. If you want to, let's say, download another plugin, you just need to do the process of clicking and dragging the file again. The installation will begin one more time, and the list will be available showing you the plugins you already have installed previously. That's pretty much everything for now. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you all around.